today I'm going to start a project that I picked this up at a thrift store. It was $5, so pretty good deal. And I have a piece of wood to add to it, and another piece of wood to add to it, some lettering, and more once I complete it. And then I'm going to paint it. But for now, this is what I'll show you. And as I go along, you'll see what I'm going to do. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to screw the bottom board to that. And what I'm going to have to do, though, is cut this off or sand it down flat so it's flush. And then this will become right here a sign. And the sign is gonna go here. So we'll have one big piece of a display here. And then I'll paint it and then we'll fill it. That's it for now. Okay, so we cut the edge so it's flush. I gotta sand that. And what I did was is I removed one of these little shells because it was broke. And I could have patched that, but instead I put some air dry clay and I'll sand it. So it will give me a couple more bigger spots to add something instead of such little holes so that's so far and then um, after I sand it then we'll attach the wood put a little glue on it first and then screw it in Okay, well I didn't film this. Now we're gonna make the sign and I'm gonna turn that into a fairy apothecary. So what I didn't show you is that I used this clay. It's a modeling air dry clay and it's almost like cotton candy. It feels like styrofoam. And it's easy to take out of the molds. So I did the letters, but I wanted larger ones for the two beginning alphabet of each word. And even though this one's not as tall as that, I was going to double them. However, I only have one F in my bag of letters here. So I'm just going to go with this. And then I made these out of this mold. I got this at Hobby Lobby. But what we're going to do now is I'm going to decorate this and then cut it. So I'm going to put molding, which I got this mold. I'm And I have this mold too. So I'm going to use this, but I'm going to use instead of using all this I'm going to use plaster of Paris I will use this for these small little intricate ones let's do one now so you can get the feel of it and I'll just scoot that over It's like, I've never used it before. And it's pretty cool. So I definitely want to try this one for sure on the top. So all you do is smush it in.
So with the rest, let's try Plaster of Paris because I am going to do, I think I'm going to use this one, but I'm going to pour it in every one to see what they look like. And yeah, it's going to look so pretty. All right, let me mix the plaster of Paris. Okay, so the plaster of Paris I have says I have to mix 100 grams of powder to 30 grams of water. Okay, so I'm not sure what color I want these. I So I tested it with three different metallic colors. This is like a Aztec gold. This is a regular gold. And they call this a per, pearl marmalade. So I'm not sure what I want. Um, definitely these are going to be whitish. So I'm going to try gold first, and if I want to go darker, then I may just go over it. So I'm going to paint these first, and then I have not sealed them on here.
Okay, so now I'm going to dry brush gold on this to match the top of this. And I'll just film a little bit of it and then show you when we fill it. Now this can actually be hung up on a wall. And I thought of doing that and on the shelf here, putting a mortar and a pestle. And then, but also you can stand it on a fireplace or on your bedroom dresser or on your apothecary table. So I'm going to do this and then I'll take videos of filling it. This took me a long time to do, but it's worth it. And it's going to be so cute. Wait till you see what I'm going to put inside it. It came out so cute. I hot glued the sign on and then I nailed little nails in there like finishing nails. Okay.